like these mansions, right? But, um, none of them were hum humble individuals, let's just say that. Um, before I get going, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do. Um, if you have already, welcome back. Um, and comment if you know if any of this stuff is like, if you know of any of this stuff, or if it's like inaccurate, because I really don't know. I will link, um, one account that I learned a lot from was called, it's called, um, um, Cruel World Happy Minds, I think is the name of it. I'll link it. Um, but really, some of this stuff, like YouTube just kept playing videos while I was like doing other stuff in the house. And I was just like taking it in from a distance. So, like I say with my videos, like this is just a retelling. This is not for educational purposes. This is for entertainment purposes. I could be completely wrong. All right. So this is just entertainment. It's not reality, I guess. Um, because this is ASMR, let's start with the first one. Trisha Paytas. Is that how you say your name? Paytas? Paytas. Um, I had no idea who she was. I remember Googling her name, like, because I had heard, you know, other people talk about her, and I was like, who is that? When I saw her face, I was like, oh, okay. I think I've watched a few of her, um, a few of her ASMRs, and she has, like, really long nails, and she does, like, purse ASMR. Um, she does, like, mukbang. Um, but I didn't really know anything else about her, but there was, like, all these controversial things coming up about her. And that was it. I left it at that. Um, it didn't really, like, interest me. Um, but then when this YouTube came up about her, I was like, you know what? Let's see what this controversy is about. So, um, I started watching it. And she says that she is, um, a woman. I don't know. I don't 
the prank that he wants to do like a proposal prank right so she's having a baby shower for her second baby and he decides that he's going to pull a prank where he's gonna say like he got shot out in the front yard he didn't tell anybody at the party he's gonna confuse everybody at the party and act like he got shot out in his front yard and then like he'll have like fake blood and then he'll propose okay so just weird stuff like that like that was their brand I guess um all these accusations start coming in of him being like a cheater and um he just denies it or like threatens to sue the people that talk about it but even allegations of him like not taking the word no so like he might be aggressive you know or criminal I don't know and then um there was like a podcast where I could not remember the name of the podcast but she was like you know I don't know if the allegations are true about him being like a criminal or not but I do know that he did sleep with one of my friends so he's definitely at minimum like a cheater anyway so like their internet persona was like not that you know it was like I don't know uh, well so they continue to have more kids um, and then they like team up with other family channels and they do like these um, oh I caught my husband in the shower with such an, with another internet um, family's wife like weird stuff like that but these dummies would like film two videos in one day and two videos that were like almost titled the same thing like oh I caught my wife in bed with and they would film the two videos and not even change their outfits and you can so tell they're acting like nothing kills me more than like scripted reality scripted reality and I don't know how anybody falls for this shit or thinks it's real like is it children that are falling for this how can a real adult not tell that this is acting and bad acting at that so um you know of course a few people do catch on or you know they probably get comments like dude you guys were wearing those outfits in your other prank that was supposed to be reality i don't know um so just kind of like like you know people have asmr and they do role playing like that's cool you will never see me able to act or role play i just cannot do it like my my neuro state is not one that can like do fantasy stuff like that like i can't i can't act and i can't like i could never really i was never a good liar um now i'm old and i have no reason to lie about anything but when i was younger you know like when you're a teenager and you're like trying to get out of trouble so you have to like like you don't have to but like you're like no we were you know at such and such's house not over like i was never good at that that's probably why i got caught all the time but um anyways so like acting is kind of in the same vein as lying so i just would never be any good at that not that like role playing or is lying but you know what i mean you have to like make stuff up make believe and that's not for me um and then i was watching a clip and i had heard of this clip before and i don't know who this was um you guys might know but um the the family dog had died like it really did die and this lady you know how there's like a thumbnail right so like i take my thumbnail picture it's cringe like it sucks you gotta take it it's basically taking a selfie it sucks before i make my video i hurry up and just get that part over with but this woman would like she had a family channel and she would um film the video and then um while the camera was still rolling she would film the thumbnail and then i guess just screenshot the um the thumbnail from the video so like she's got her kid in the car and she's like our pet just died you know they're they're the boy is really crying real tears he's upset the pet did die his dog and um so she films the video and he's really upset and she's filming him while he's
she's upset, which is not okay. And then she's like, okay, now we gotta take the thumbnail. Well, she didn't realize that she had uploaded this whole part. She, she didn't, like, edit this part out. So she's like, no. And, like, for, like, a few minutes, she's like, no, you gotta, like, look sadder than that. Like, she's holding him like this. She's like, no, look at me. No, do this. Now look at the camera. Now look sadder. Like, now, now cry at the camera. Like, directing him. And she's like, no, you gotta cry. And he goes, I am crying. Like, you can tell he's, like, distraught, but also trying to, like, please her and, like, fulfill her wish, probably, because he knows, like, he needs to get it over with because she's not gonna, she needs to get her stupid thumbnail, you know? But it was so cringe to watch. Like, I don't know. I, obviously, she wasn't raised to do that because, um, YouTube wasn't a thing when she was a child. I don't know how she was raised, but, like, it doesn't matter. Or You cannot do that. You cannot, like, make your kid like this your pet really did die this isn't he's not acting you know he is sad and you're using it to um to make a show that's like it was like you just get ick the ick you get the ick from it you know um so then it took me down like this whole other like this whole other um rabbit hole I guess and it, this was talking about TikTok and kind of like the the, um, the family channel stuff that goes on on TikTok where, um, you know, kids are really cute. They say cute things. You see TikToks and the kids do cute stuff, and, which is all great unless, like, once they go hard on this family channel and they try to make more content, content and they're, like, they're trying to get their kids to do stuff that's not natural for the kid, basically acting like a job. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing, but the most disturbing part is that some of these people are selling their kids to essentially, like, um, weirdos. Okay, we'll use the word weirdos. They are creating, you know, they have a big account and they have a bunch of followers, 
these rebels and so you, like it, it's almost like a fever dream which I do this all the time I'll go down like a conspiracy you know and with I still have a head on my shoulders like some of us just but stuff like this you know is it's real um and it, hopefully it's not prevalent but it does exist I don't know how we're gonna hold these people right I don't know if if TikTok can do a better job or if YouTube should like watch for parents bullying their kids and, and then just flag those accounts I don't know I don't know um yeah so with that I better get going because I just got off work I stayed to film and I still have to 